Recording a video on garbage day could result in weird background noises, so I apologize for that. <laughs> hey everyone, Fina here from Fina Reads. Today with another book review. I just finished The Body Scout by Lincoln Michel, and I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Could be Mitchell, could be hmm, French, American, who knows. But that's a new book released by Orbit just recently. I received an e-arc from NatGalley, so thank you so much NatGalley for or Orbit for approving me for that book because it was a really fun read and I'm super excited that I picked this book up and that's why you know how it is. I had to talk about it and I had to share my excitement with you. So let's talk a little bit about The Body Scout. Besides the cover being amazing, the story itself is a science fiction. It has some thriller elements into it. So when I started with it, it was like, ooh, that is actually more like a thriller story, but there is a bit more to it. So it's really a science fiction with thriller with a little bit else that I cannot talk about because then I'm spoiling things and I want to keep this spoiler free. <laughs> Our main character's name is Kobo. He is a body scout, which in that world that the book plays in means he is scouting players for baseball teams. But baseball teams are not quite the same anymore in that future. It's really all about the medication they can take, the upgrades that they can add to their bodies, the kind of enhancements that they can do to their lungs, their eyes and whatnot. So and scouting in that world actually works by what's the next best medication I can give my players so they can throw balls further, all that kind of stuff. But Kobo is really focused on talent and finding people that are talented baseball players. In this world, body upgrades are the thing. Everybody wants their body upgraded. Everybody wants to, or puts a lot of money into that, which leads to a lot of people having financial issues based on their upgrades, or if they received upgrades due to health issues, they are now in debt because of that. That's kind of the main world. Of course, you have fractions in there that are against all of those buddy upgrades. They are playing an important role as part of the whole story as well. But the focus is really on Kobo because he is watching a baseball game where his brother is playing a really great game. They're in the, what is it called in baseball? I forgot, I just read about it and I forgot. Playoffs? No. You know what I mean. I'm not a big sports person. <laughs> but whatever those end games in baseball are called. And he is watching his brother about to hit a ball when all of a sudden blue goo is coming like out of his eyes and he's kind of falling apart and essentially dying. Kobo is devastated and he is now trying to figure out what in the world happened to my brother. So while he is running away from debt collectors, trying to connect with ex-lovers, he's using everything that he has access to to figure out who murdered his brother. And that's kind of how the story starts. I don't want to tell much more because that would take away. The story is rather short. I read it in three days in the week. So after work, I got so excited. Usually I, I don't read much after work because I'm done staring at numbers and letters. But I thought it was so good that I read it rather quickly. And there's a lot of stuff happening. It's a very plot driven book. There's not a lot of character development. You get introduced to the character and his problems pretty much at the beginning and then not much else is happening. So that's kind of how he is throughout the book. What I thought was well done as part of the plot is that it is a world where race and gender don't seem to be a huge issue anymore. So the representation was actually pretty good for, I mean, again, I'm not an expert in books with representation. I thought it was well done and well integrated into the whole story. And then you also have a lot of exploration in that future world where it is really just about the money and the next best upgrades. Nothing else matters anymore. And because of that, you're seeing a lot of issues with just healthcare in general, people being social, people trusting each other, crime, all that kind of thing. So it's not a fun city to live in, <laughs> in my opinion. But I think the author did a good job in, you know, getting you into the mood of the city and what it is really about, which is why it was so much fun to read through it. The writing in general, I thought was good. It was really well paced. Uh, which adds to the thriller element that I kind of was feeling at the f for the majority of the book, really. Although a little bit repetitive at times, 
but not to a point where like, oh my god, stop it, and you want to throw away the book. So you were able to read over it. The one thing that I had a little bit issues with were the focus on baseball and all the sports analogies and the talk about baseball and specifics to about it. I have no clue about baseball. I'm not a great sport person. I'm fine watching sport, except for American football, rather boring. So that kind of was a little bit off-putting, especially at the beginning when I started to get into this story. But it got better as we moved along because then the focus was not as much on baseball anymore. The other part that I only understood because I'm currently watching a bunch of seasons of Bones where the description of body parts, he used rather medical terms for them, not the typical like arm or hand, but the actual description of the bones as an example. And if you have no clue what that is, you need to pause and look it up. That were really my two only issues with the book. I ended up giving it four stars. It's not my all-time favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorite books that I've read this year, and I'm so glad that I got a copy because I actually stumbled over this book by accident. I watched a virtual Comic-Con panel that was organized by Orbit, and the author was talking about his book, and I just listened to it on the side. I was actually doing something else, so I didn't really hear what he was talking about when it came to the book. I just saw the cover and was like, ooh, that is great. Yes, I'm a cover buyer, and that is definitely a book that I bought because of the cover. So I highly recommend it, especially if you are into baseball and if you like sports, <laughs> if you like this stuff. I think this is an amazing sci-fi thriller-ish book. It, if you are not as much into sports like I am, I think it's still a good book and it's still worth reading because I think the world that he built, the future uh, that he built. So it play, I don't know if I say that before, but it plays in New York, I think. Yes, in New York, because he talked about Jersey. So the future that he built for New York, I actually found rather interesting. And there were a lot of good quotes in the book that I also highlighted throughout it. And that's what I found really interesting about the book. Again, not really a whole lot of character development. So if you're a person who loves character development, not a great book for you. But the world building and how he explores the societal issues in a future like that as part of the plot, I thought he, it was really interesting and done really well. What I also found interesting, there were elements in there that reminded me of Machine Hood, which is another sci-fi that I've read a while ago. If you like stories like this, those two books go great together. I'll keep it at that. If you've read it already, or if you started reading it, I definitely let me know in the comments what you think. We can do a little bit spoiler talk there. Just remember to mark it as spoilers so others don't accidentally read something that they might not want to. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of The Body Scout. I see you soon with my next video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!